if you don't get that reference, we can't be friends. Super excited because I was at Marshall's. They had the Anastasia Beverly Hills a Sultry Eyeshadow Palette. Um, I have not had this one, tried this one. Anyway, it was five dollars. If it'll focus. And obviously it is brand new. It was not swatched or touched or anything. I made sure. Probably why he killed himself. So again, this is all theories here. He was already. Oh, but given the nature of like how badly burned he was, they believe the coroners believe that he was. Probably I need to clean my makeup brushes. Shani Detox Professional Brush Cleaner. I get mine off of Amazon. I can link it down below if you want to check it out. So you spray a towel, uh, a tissue. I wouldn't really use a tissue because it's probably gonna break apart. Wait, so you just spray a towel or anything, spray a little bit. My pump kind of got broken. I think it's because I dropped my bottle, so it leaks a little bit. I've gotten brand new ones, and I've never had an issue. This is the only one, and it was perfectly fine when I first bought it. But, so you spray on something. I like to use a towel because I'll just wash this, you know, and reuse it. And you just swirl your brush like you would normally clean, you know, in a sink or something like that. But this is just on a towel. And as you can see, uh, makeup products coming off. And the best part is you can use this like immediately after. It's now pretty much dry because it doesn't get too wet. Um, the only thing I don't use this for is like found foundation brushes because it, it works. It does. It gets them clean, but it's a long process, so I'd rather just wash those in the sink. You can see, got a nice color on there. So we'll spray our towel and a little swirl. You could see the color coming off on the towel. This is kind of hard to do at this angle, but I want I want you guys to fully see. So I just kind of swirl it a little bit until all the color is off, and then on a clean part of the towel I just kind of in my opinion this is probably the best brush cleaner because like look at that there's not a speck of green left on that so it's paraben free it's 100% cruelty free it has aloe vera in it and it's made 100% in the USA so that I absolutely 100% love because I mean we live in the USA so support the USA I, you know Says people often forget the importance of cleaning their makeup brushes, but skipping this important step can result in the growth of bacteria and the accumulation of other impurity <laughs> of other impurities. With help from the Shani Detox Professional Brush Cleaner, you can effortlessly remove dirt and excess makeup from both natural and synthetic brushes. So definitely I wanted to include that yes, it, it is used for both natural and synthetic brushes go over a little bit of the products that I did use. Obviously, I did use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Sultry Palette. I layered the CoverGirl and the Milk Makeup. I almost forgot what these were called. Mascaras. Primed my face with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. Um, I did not do my forehead because I don't, I don't know where it is at the moment, but I did use the e.l.f. Putty Primer on my forehead. For me, that works out like the best because the putty primer, I absolutely love it and I could use it all over my face but I do enjoy the photo finish primerizer because it's more hydrating and in these areas I definitely need the hydration to where in my other area, like my t-zone area, that's where my pores are the biggest and yeah, I'm trying to kind of blur them and hide them a little bit. I use the ColourPop The Pretty Fresh Foundation. I have the shade Light 70W, but it is a little too dark for me and so I lightened it up with the L'Oreal or the Estee Lauder Double Wear Instant Fix Concealer, and I have the shade 1 and Light Neutral. 
which is a little too light for me, so it kind of works the two. And I used my little Anastasia Beverly Hills contour palette. I lightly powdered my face, mainly just like the under eyes and my chin with the Urban Decay Velvetizer. It's a translucent mix-in for your foundation, but I use it as like a setting powder because I think it works better. As I was saying before she rudely interrupted, like this Lorac one is definitely more of like a shimmery, kind of a glowy bronzer. That was a really intense swatch. Not my favorite. I don't, I don't, that was kind of like, I've only used that probably about twice. And then just my go-to, I don't know, I have to show the inside. I've, I've hit pan. Definitely have hit pan, but the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. We really should actually take back all these cans. Ooh, he's a good girl. I'll be right back. I gotta go to the store. Obviously, I just had to wash my car. Um, I felt like, it, I mean, it's nice enough out. It's like almost 50 degrees. And my car was a little bit dirty because I went to the cemetery. So I didn't, they have dirt roads. Anyway, that's beside the point of this little story. Whilst I was cleaning my car, <laughs> I found a bottle of wine. <laughs> Squeaky. We returned 58 cans, so now we have $5.80. Yep. And on top of the other two that I already have. Because <laughs> I forgot to turn them in and get my money. Pathetic <laughs> list. Yeah. But not for no $7.79. This is Kevin's favorite little section. He would have just, he'd be a kid in a candy store right now. Um, but I'm probably going to, oh, they have cinnamon. Oh, what do I do? I was going to get the blueberry. So we tried those burgers, the Impossible Burger, and they're really, really good. Like, you can't even taste the difference. But then these, these are on sale for literally only a dollar. And you get four, and they're plant-based. And again, with the Impossible Burgers, he can't even taste the difference. Yes, I would say most of it could probably just go in the back of my truck. Definitely not one of my best trips. Um, I spent 71 and I only saved 38.91. Usually we save more than we spent, but I got beers, so. If you don't get that reference, we can't be friends. More or less, because this is probably just gonna turn into, I don't know, a day in my life vlog, uh, because I don't think I'm gonna go up north. So, just, I, ooh, we're yellow. That's okay. Belly. Is that good? Do you like eating those bags? Hey, you know you're not supposed to eat plastic. Hey. Well, it's not for you. He thinks they have a treat or something for him, but. You can't really get this one. This is their chocolate peanut butter cup. Oh my goodness. These Verb Energy Bars. I honestly, this is not sponsored. It's not uh, anything. I don't even have an affiliate code with them. They barely know who I exist, even though we, we text. Because you text them to place your order. And um, we're almost like friends. And ignore that. We don't have cupboard or doors over our cupboards. It's long. It's 
story. I think I explain it in maybe a vlog that never went live, that's never gonna go live, so really quick. The hinges, for example, like this, on this side, the holes in the doors were just too big. So they, like the door was uneven and falling and yeah, so we just kind of took it off. Since I have to prep the cheese for the quesadilla burgers because, ooh, do it that way. <laughs> um, the black cheese, you know, I'm gonna shred it at least or cut it up. Well aware. If you all saw that, it's got a little shrimpy on it. This is uh, technically for fish and fish. But uh, yeah, we don't eat that much fish. Probably too much cheese. Actually, I just lied. There's never too much cheese. So I guess really quick some grated cheese and then I want to show you my they're almost ready so I know I mentioned this at the store um obviously like I do have them here so I would you know I kind of know what I was talking about but they at the store they just had the big like ground beef blocks for like 10 bucks uh no that's that's way too expensive and I think they're the same eight ounces uh I got these for a dollar at the same exact store but they do like some really weird crazy deals so we kind of stocked up on these and they've kind of been in our freezer you gotta freeze them by March 2022 I will definitely go through the ones that we have but I thought I'd just kind of pop in and show you guys that like the impossible burgers I mean, we're not vegetarian by any mean not vegan vegetarian you know none of that but uh for a dollar Heck yeah, definitely I would buy these again if they were a dollar. Am I gonna pay the $10 that they want for it? Absolutely not, so I know that, I know what they were trying to do, I, you know. It's like, here, try it. You know you wanna try it, and if you like it, you can then you to buy it. No, I can't afford it. So cheese is done, I already talked to you about the burgers. Oh yeah, the peppers and the onions, jeez. We're gonna caramelize some onions and fire roast a pepper. Um, you guys are on my faucet, so... Was I not recording that last time? I had this, you know, it was all nice and recorded, and now I kind of charred it a little. Eh, it's almost perfect. Either way, you know, you want to hear all this popping, and the sizzle, and the fantasticness, and the greatness, and the popping, and the chard is perfect, and I never hit record. While that side finishes, you grab the bag because so you basically you want to get this charred skin then off. And the easiest way to do that, oh I gotta move my truck after this, is to put it in a bag and you let the heat kind of just, you know, do its thing. I don't want to burn the bag. Pepper right in that bag and you kind of close it up a little bit so that way you keep this heat trap and then just let it sit for a few minutes. One, it makes the skin a little bit more like loosened and soft and yeah. So I'm gonna come back to that. I have to move my truck because Kevin's gotta park in that in the driveway because he has to plug in his truck. So I normally would never ever ever sit and um chop really anything. I want to talk to you guys and instead of me doing this you know and looking kind of like this I figure this would be, I don't know, a little bit better. <laughs> this is kind of hard to, to do. But let me know down in the comments below. How are you guys doing? Are you guys doing okay? You having a decent day, a bad day? You do anything exciting today? Do you have anything exciting for the weekend? Because honestly, I have no idea when this one's gonna go up. So if it goes, if it goes up on the weekend, I don't know, what'd you do on the weekend? Oh, actually, duh, Christmas is coming up. You guys have any exciting plans for Christmas? Are you, you know, going anywhere, doing anything fun? So this Saturday, it will be the 17th, I believe. Um, so to, cause today's the 14th when I'm recording this. And so Saturday we're going to Kevin's cousin's house for Christmas. And then the following Saturday, which then will be Christmas Eve, we are going to my aunt's house for Christmas. Um, 
like I did want to get a Christmas tree. I don't even know if we're gonna get a Christmas tree this year at this point. I feel like, feel a little like humbug, or Scrooge. He says humbug. We do have our cruise planned for next Christmas, kind of. We'll be returning, which actually, now that I think about it, we're leaving on the 17th and returning on the 24th. And those are two important dates this year already, so. I have to book our flight still for, uh, how do I want to cut? That one will get diced for tomorrow. I could actually do that today. But this one's going to get sliced for today. But yeah, I guess, I don't know, what, what was I saying? I kind of totally, literally just straight up lost whatever I just said. Something about Christmas, something about the holidays. Uh, yeah, so. We're going somewhere, the Bahamas or something like that. I wanted to go on the brand new... This is so hard to do sitting down. Do not do as I do. I wanted to go on their very new ship, the Prima, but the way our voucher worked out, our cruise voucher, was just kind of, it was very, very silly. This is so hard to do. I do not ever recommend doing this. You had to book it. Like, you had to be like, hey, I want to go on this cruise. You had to do that by the end of this year but your cruise had to sail by the end of next year. So the way, or what I was looking into for what we wanted on that brand new cruise ship, the Prima, it was sailing January of 2024. I mean, no, right? What is this year, 21? So next year is 22. It was sailing January of 23. That was just a month past, like a month too far past what you were allowed with the cruise vouchers. So that was frustrating to deal with. Not gonna lie, it was. Because then I found a different cruise that we were gonna go on to and I couldn't do that, it was, yeah. And now I have to try and book our cruise like excursions because we still have credit left to do that. But when I went to go do that, it wouldn't allow me to do that. So I don't know if I have to call and be like, hey, book me for this. The battery's gonna die. I'll catch you guys, um, yeah, at some point in time. So whenever that dies, it dies. Because basically these are just gonna go on the stove and kind of caramelize a little bit. I'm gonna peel the pepper and charge the battery. I don't wave in a knife around, like literally just kind of. Okay, we gotta stand up to finish this. We should possibly, hopefully, be good. We have two bars on our battery. So all I did here is just kind of soften them a little bit and in oil, salt and pepper, and then added a little bit of red wine vinegar and sugar. And then, or paper, you just kind of, I don't know how to explain it. You just kind of gently peel it. <laughs> I mean, I, you could leave some of the black stuff I'm going to because it's going to leave a little bit like charred flavor. She has a rose, you came in that. You filming it? Yeah. It's okay, you can keep filming it when I come in. Showing people at home how to cook. So uh, that's for roasted pepper and caramelized onions, quesadilla. So there you go. Better. Now we are talking on I was just gonna slice these, but now they're getting diced. This is what I deal with on a daily basis. That base is what I have to deal with on a daily basis. Balsamic vinegar. <laughs> That's decent. All I added was the balsamic <laughs> that you wanted. Now it's time to build the quesadillas.
like a crunch wrap. I don't know if it needs more cheese, but we're gonna add more cheese. Perfect. Oh, don't nudge my butt, Billy. Thank you. Because the lighting's really good in here. So I'm like a to DMR. Let me know what you guys think of this. Like I I said, I think I'm gonna title it a day in my life vlog or something like that. If you did, make sure you give the video a thumbs up. If you didn't, go ahead and leave me a comment down below as to why. <laughs> I don't know. I need some criticism, like good constructive good constructive criticism so leave me a comment down below if you guys haven't already go ahead and subscribe to my channel by clicking this link right here if you want to binge watch some of my content go ahead and click one of these links right here i love you guys and i'll catch you in another video bye i think it's 2022 is almost a year